of Amazing Dogs, Teresa. 46 days, 12,000 miles, and two best friends. That's the story of our next guest who took his dog, Poe, on a cross-country bucket list adventure after his beloved pooch was diagnosed with several health conditions earlier this year. Here with us now is Thomas Neil Rodriguez. Oh, and there's Poe. Hey, Poe. Thanks for being here today. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Now, now we hear that you're a, a very talented disc jockey. I would like to think so. <laughs> what's, what's the hottest song right now? Oh, it depends which uh, club you're going to. Uh, you know, whatever pop song is pretty much is what's being played in the, in the clubs these days. Okay. So tell us a little bit about Poe. He looks like he's really well behaved. Oh, now he is. When he was a child, <laughs> he was uh, very mischievous. But uh, in his old age, he's calmed down quite a bit. I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to hold him like this for more than uh, five seconds before he'd run away. And how did you two meet? Um, I picked him up at the North Shore Animal League. It's out in Long Island. When I was a kid, they, they used to run commercials about it all the time. And uh, back when I, I guess when I was 24 or 20, I can't even remember now. So almost 16 years ago, I met Poe. He was eight weeks old. I could hold him in one hand and now I I gotta hold him like this now. Yeah, now he's a little <laughs> bit bigger. And and you and your fiance decided to do something in, uh, pretty special with the dog. You decided to do a traveling bucket list. I don't know if anybody's ever done this. Tell us about your adventure. Uh, well, I as, as a DJ, I travel quite a bit for my job, and we found out that he had a bunch of inoperable tumors, and uh, he was given a very limited timeline to uh, to be on this earth, and. I just didn't want to leave his side, so I kind of had to had to make a a choice. I had to either leave him, or I would have to stay here with him and uh, you know just wait for the inevitable, or I could bring him with me. And I was like, you know what? We can turn this into something a lot bigger. And I wanted to get him into the Pacific Ocean so that he could swim for the first time. I, I know we got an ocean here on the East Coast, but it, it's not quite the same over here in New York. Yeah. And um, he was able to get out there, and it just turned into a, I'm going to put him down. He wants to get that. <laughs> it turned into a 46-day a uh, tour of the United States, 12,000 miles back and forth. Wow. And did this improve his, uh, his well-being, would you say? Uh, I, you know, one of the things about, uh, I guess, him being internet famous is a lot of people have started to make comments, and half the people don't even read the the headlines. All they see is is dying, and you know they immediately think he's uh, you know, in crutches and bedridden. But um, no, I think it was great for him. His energy, when he has something new to do, new to new to smell, new to see, uh, it's totally different. When he's here in New York. Sometimes I can't even get him, like, five feet from the door. He, he, he'll fight me. He's like, I, I just want to go home. I'm bored. <laughs> but if we're out somewhere new, if we're at a dog beach, he's, you know, his equivalent of running around. Imagine, like, an old man trying to shuffle around. <laughs> well, how, well, how's Poe doing today? Um, he's pretty good. <laughs> um, unfortunately, the weather out here in New York is pretty dreary, so we might just do uh, house chores and that type of thing. A normal day. Today will be a normal day. Got it. Well, it's great that you have your, your best friend with you and you're making the most of his time, right? Absolutely. Yeah. It's a great story. Thank you. Thomas, right. Thanks for chatting with us. Absolutely.